Whoa, all right, so what is growing on? This video is gonna be an interesting one. Um, kind of a little off topic, something that I don't normally post, but something I highly suggest, especially if you have a well at home, especially if you're in the south and power goes out and you get hurricanes, this is just another backup form of having water, so hold tight, because this one's way cooler than the one I have. Wow, Jim, I've never seen one like this. This is fancy. This was Jim. Called the bison pump. The they're, bison pump. They're expensive, but so this is the same well casing that the electric um, jet pumps in. Um, so you can use your existing well, and then when the electric goes out, your pump won't run, but this will. And I think it's it will work in freezing temperatures too. Have you used it through winter yet, or just put it on? No, I mean we got water, so it's, you know it's just we don't use it that much. Um, but every once in a while we do, we feel like pumping. You might have loved it. Yeah. And supposedly you can push water, so you're actually got a shaft way down there that's pushing it up the pipe. Um, and you can do that for way deep. You could be pumping water out of 100 feet, where a regular pitcher pump will only pull it 29 or 28 feet. And then you got to get a jet pump. Sweet. Now what? Shower time? Well, you want to show me my tent? Oh. This is a carrying water. Jim, you don't use a hand cart or something for this? You appreciate Try your... balancing it on your head? No, well, Alexander puts it on her head. Really? That one? No, but she does a lot of stuff on her head. It amazes me. But, you know, you appreciate your water a lot more when you do this. I bet you do. Carrying, uh, what, 30 pounds, 35 pounds? Seven gallons, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, is that seven gallons? Yep. Jim, up until a little while ago, I mean, sun comes up what time around here? Well, right now it's like about five, about, about 15. Five. But in the um, last week of June, it's coming up at 4.30, rising. The birds start singing at 3.30. You can oh. see at four. You gonna switch hands or something? You're gonna hurt your back here, Jim. Want okay. help? There we go, there we go. Alright. Pete's getting tired watching me. I was getting wore out just watching you. <laughs> Woo! These are a bunch of tripping hazards back here. There is. It's amazing on wetter soils how the roots come up to the top. Have you fallen walking back to camp, Jim? In the dark, yeah. Yeah? Uh oh. I try to use a headlight, but sometimes you get stuck. So excuse the mess, I'm a kind of bachelor like campground here, so but what do you mean? home away from home. Home sweet home? Everything a guy needs. Whoa. Got your fire spot, your tent, your books, your reading. Yeah, you I gotta, not play around. Yeah, I got my stove. Oh, you make your uh, coffee out here in the morning? Coffee, oatmeal. Wow. Bananas. I see you got some Florida nanners hiding in yeah. here. Yeah. Whoa. Homemade granola, my journals, all my books. And this stays dry and keeps you warm in the winter? Or the oh cold man, nights? that stove rocks it. Really? Yeah, I mean, we were I was burning a fire two weeks ago. We had 48 degrees. What? Pretty cool. Wow. And then that's like an extra one for overflow. That's the storage camp? Yeah, it's kind of like the garage. Wow. And it looks like a messy garage too. <laughs> but, you know, it's kind of reminds me every year doing this how little you need and then I go back to that big house in Florida and I go wow what am I doing yeah um the simple life huh yeah 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 and you kind of go with the you know the pulse of the day you know when the birds start singing that wakes you up yeah and when it starts to well even before it starts to get dark I go down Jim thanks for showing us the casa sure Pitcher pump, I mean, whoa, we've seen it all out here. And mushroom hunting, catching fish, I mean, what's next? Picking apples? 
Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we can do that tomorrow. All right. We can do that tomorrow. We're wearing Jim out over here. Yeah. Like this rock, huh? <laughs> you might love this rock. Oh. That is a special rock. And I'd taken my hammock down for the rainstorm, but usually that sits right here. Oh, really? Oh, I see the hook in the tree. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. All right. I'm going to give you a break. Thank you, sir. All right, so that bison pitch and pitcher pump is definitely next level. Um, I bought like a regular one from my local, I think it was like an irrigation supply house. I've seen them at Tractor Supply. Um, if I could have done it over again, I would probably splurge for the better one because I can tell you mine already started rusting at the top, even with the five gallon bucket over the top. But it's really nice to know if the power goes out, um, you know, if it's out for a week or two, you know, my generator is only going to last so long. I could still fill some five gallon buckets because I'm on septic. I could still flush my toilets. So access to fresh water is key. I think that thing is pretty epic so hope you guys enjoyed this quick video on the pitcher pump i know everything with jim is kind of exciting so be sure to hit that like button most importantly i just need to get out there and pound some dirt